Dun 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 dun. Hey there, internet. So today we're looking at the Insta360 One X2. I'm very, very happy and proud to be reviewing this camera. It is brand new from Insta360, but it goes without saying this video is slightly biased because they sent me the camera for free. That being said, I've given Insta360 tons of money for all these other cameras, so it's not really a biased video. I did a video already unboxing this camera if you want to see what's on the inside. I also did a video looking at the menu and how to use the menu and some of the new features there. But this video is a comparison test between the Insta360 ONE X2 and its biggest nemesis and competitor, the Kandao QCam 8K and the Theta Z. So each of the comparisons that I'll be doing in this video look at different aspects of these cameras. Also one thing to note when looking at the video comparison, this camera shoots at 5.7K resolution, this one shoots at 8K resolution, and the Theta sadly only shoots at 4K resolution. Insta360 folks have told me that there is a firmware update coming that will give better audio for this camera. So just know going into this, the, these things are getting updated. This one just came out. These two have been on the market for a while. Um, and this one is by far the cheapest. So before I get ahead of myself with this review and comparing all three cameras, I wanna state a couple things about the Insta360 ONE X2 that got me really excited. First off, off the bat, it came with a lens cap. This is incredible. I've been telling 360 camera companies for ages to make a lens cap. So I really, really appreciate that Insta360. So another nice feature of the ONE X2 is that it's waterproof. I won't be testing that in this video, but know that it's waterproof. The battery also got bigger with the ONE X2, so it has longer battery life. It's a lot more rugged in terms of the case, slightly thicker. Um, but it is the smallest of all three of the cameras. The final thing I'll tell you before going into the comparison test is this has all of the features of the Insta360 ONE R. All of those cool features like the Night Star time lapse, the cloning, all those things are included with this. Um, I'm not gonna really say a whole lot about how I feel on each of these cameras with each of the photo and video examples. I want you, the viewers, to let me know in the comments what you think, which camera does better in each of these different categories. I'm very interested to hear your feedback, so please let me know. So anyway, let's take a look. We're gonna do a stabilization test. So here I am running with the Insta360 ONE X2. And now my favorite test, going on a little jog around to compare the stabilization of this camera. Now to do a little jogging test with the Theta. Let's see how the Theta does with the stabilization. Here we go. All right, so that was the Theta. So that was the Theta stabilization test. Now the QCam. <laughs> All right, now we have our photo test. So I did a very simple photo test, indoor and outdoor. The photo test indoor, I used TrueShot for the Insta360. So here's the Insta360 ONE X2 with photo comparison. This is with their TrueShot, AI, sharpening, and color enhancement. Next up, we have the Theta Z. This is our photo from the Theta Z. And let me know what you think. And now finally, here's the photo out of the Kandao QCam, which has a slightly higher resolution than either of the other two cameras. Finally, here are our night shots. Here's the Insta360 ONE X2 photo at night. Here's the Kandao QCam 8K photo at night. And here's the Theta Z photo at night. So anyway, that's the end of my review. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm very curious to hear your thoughts on the comparison between the Kandao 8K, the Theta Z, 
and the Insta360 ONE X2. So if you have any questions about these cameras, especially the ONE X2, write them in the comments below. I will get back to you. I will do a Q&A video where I will answer all these questions or I'll write you a comment response. But in my humble, honest opinion, I am very, very happy about the ONE X2. It answered all of my questions, all of my dreams and hopes and aspirations for an updated 360 camera. Yes, it is brand new. It's still beta. There's still little fixes and firmware updates, but it works great and I'm very happy with it. Thank you Insta360 folks for sending this to me and thank you viewers for watching these videos and encouraging me to continue to make them. I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you remember to vote. I hope you like this video. I hit, hope you hit that notification button and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace. Have a wonderful day.